Hello you gorgeous people, it's Rochelle from Crafted by Mono Lane, formerly Mono Lane Furniture. I added the Crafted by so I could just throw other stuff in. Today I'm on my way to pick up a buffet and hutch. This is going to be for us to keep on our deck. So I kind of have to plan it. I'm not going to plan it. Oh no, I'm going over the railway line, I hate those. Oh I hate them. Ray always slows down when we're getting on them, as if like we're going to stop on the tracks. It's hilarious. One day I'll stop him on the tracks. He's still I'm just pushing out. So this is what we've got. The hutch was too heavy for me to decide to do anything with it. It's just too much work, it won't be usable, so um, I won't be doing that. But let's have a look at what we've got. It's solid wood. That's a real good chunk of wood on the top of this. A lot of these have um, quite a thin top, but this is a real nice chunk of solid wood. So I'll be taking off that detail with my um, Festool. Draws are on runners. Oh, it feels like old school. I'm back to my com my comfort zone. Right, I'm gonna take the doors off to paint them. If it's internal hinges or you know the hinges that just sit there, sometimes I won't take them off. But these ones I like to take off because they're very obvious, and I really like to paint the entire side. I'll smash up a bit in there. Doesn't matter. And they all, ooh. Anything exciting? No, empty. Hmm. Boring. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. No, they all shut really well. So one thing I will do with this, even though, look, they're shutting brilliantly. It look great. Two dogs, half is asleep on a settee. Um, I will number where these go. One, two, three, four, five, six, because if you get those wrong, they drive you nuts. So, draw pulls are coming off, doors are coming off, hinges are coming off. I'm sanding here. It's in really, really good condition. I'm really happy with it. Right, I'm not going to fail me taking draw pulls off because um, it's just draw pulls. And it's just doors. I don't think you need to see that. Shit. Doors are off, draw pulls are off, and I've marked up the hinges and the doors obviously this won't stay on but it'll just it's just a reminder for me as i'm working on it i'll figure it out as i go along but this is the important part making sure you know which these go with so i'll put these all in a baggie keep the even if you're changing the draw pulls especially on draw pulls like these uh, drawers like these where they're really thick Make sure you keep these handy. I've got bags and bags of these of all different sizes, but I always spend ages looking for them. So if they're particularly deep ones, make sure they're easy to get to. Now I'm going to sand the top here. I still don't know what direction I'm going in. It's got this angle here that I'm not a fan of. Um, I'm definitely going to bevel it out anyway, so I'm not sure what I'll do here. It may be that the bevel brings it down enough that I can just bring it to a point anyway. If not, I might have to leave a little bit of an angle. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure what I'm doing with the doors. I may be taking out the panel and putting in some burlap. I'm not sure. So I'm using my Festool RO150. This is a workhorse. It's really solid. If you don't have strong upper body strength, though, this isn't for you because it takes a lot of power to, or strength to hold it, to control it. So my one pet peeve with these is it's just so expensive to, to run. So I ended up forking out for a hundred of the P120s, the 120 grit. And that's generally all I use in, in terms of taking off the finish, is the 120 with these. Um, it does a brilliant job and they last really well, but that was $114, I think, for a hundred. Kills me to spend that amount. But I've tried lots of cheaper alternatives and it's not been cost effective at all. There, now you can see there's a build up there. Now normally, on cheaper 
discs that would be a problem because it'd be hard to get off with these look such good quality that doing that clears it off that being said i still don't like paying a dollar a piece that's the top sanded it's hard work today in this bloody heat so i did bevel it off i couldn't lose these corners because they're too deep so i've just beveled it off i didn't show you it's too much of a pain in the ass to show you to be honest is you have to get in awkward positions i've done it on a heap of others though but all i do is just go across here with the sander at an angle and it's because of the festool and its power that i can do that quite easily it's not such a big deal um it's been scuff sanded all over and cleaned with tsp and then rinsed off i don't know what i'm going to do i had considered taking these out covering them with um, burlap and then putting them back in but they're stapled in so that's a bit of a pain in the ass and i'm not in the mood for a pain in the ass you're bailey you're right bailed she sits there all the time in the hope that she gets to hear next door's dog. She's a weirdo. Bailey, Bailey, Bales, say hello. Say hello. Oh, here we are. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. You want to say hello? You want to say hello? You beautiful boy, aren't you? You pain in the ass as well, though. You hard work. And he is fugly. Hey, fuggles, come here. Come here. Everyone's missed you, Fugly. Mmm, mommy kiss. No? Oh, there we are. That's it, kisses. Mwah. Thank you. Yeah, and you. Okay. Right, so I'm getting out of this heat, guys. I decided I'm going to go light. Not white, light. Purico Calico. It's like a beige, maybe a greyish. It's definitely not white. See, it does have tint of a colour. Because I'm going so light, I'm going to use a blocker, primer. There's lots of knots in this. Chances are I would bleed over time, so I have to use it. I, I don't like it. You know that. I'm lazy as. But So this is the Purico base blocker in the white. I'm just going to do... Generally, if I was painting white, really, as you know, I would give it full coverage with the primer. But as it's got some pigment in it some color in it I'm not going to I'm just gonna still be my lazy self so I'm just gonna get one coat on it just so I feel like I've done something you know and I'm using my new I just had a delivery from Purico because I had to stock up the shed and left it in there so this is a 70 mil the little what do you call those palm brushes I love these they're really soft too and they fit into the pots this way, that way, that way, it fits in the pot anyway. Okay, so let's go on with the white primer. Oh, see, that's good. That's got good coverage anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have I used this before? I feel like I haven't. Probably not, because I've been lazy for a long time. What's everyone up to anyway? What's the weather like where you are? Bloody boiling here today. Has been all week. Dog hair. Brilliant. So this is all being cleaned and sanded and then rinsed back off. So we're good. Yeah, that cover coverage is pretty good. You can't even see it. I've got my setup. I've got my phone just propped up on a chair here. I need to get back in the game. See, that's really good coverage. Like I said, generally, if I was doing primer, I'd be looking to do two, maybe three coats. But this is actually going on really well. So. This is going to be as much coverage as I want from the primer anyway. So one coat, done. And I may not have even needed it with a calico. But it's better to be safe than sorry when it's, the, when it's that light. Yeah, the weather here this week. Oh my God. We're not used to it because we've gone, had so much rain the last, oh my God, two, I'd say two years. And um, we're not used to it. I'm really feeling it. So this piece I'm keeping for us, myself. It's gone on the deck. It's got good storage. The deck is fully covered. And we need something just to put crap in. I don't know why, but the deck just ends up having crap on it all the time. So this is going to be where we can hide it away. And I'm picking up a coffee table tomorrow that I'm going to do to match it. 
Is that a little bit OTT matching furniture on the deck? I don't care. I really don't care. Right, you can see how hot it is today because that's that's drying already. Yeah, so what's everyone been up to? What have I missed the last 12 months or so? Yes, it has been that long. Well, I think it was August I did my last furniture video. And uh, where are we now? We're in January now. But prior to that, like properly, I haven't really done YouTube properly for 12 months, I think. Or close to. Because life has just been shit for many of us in Australia and across the world. But um, yeah, we had a few extra family health issues that made it even shitter. And I didn't have the headspace for anything. I wasn't, it wasn't even that I wasn't recording. I wasn't doing furniture. Right, I'm gonna carry on with this. Cause it's white, you know one wants to watch me put white on. And then when I've got one coat on this, I'll come back to you when I'm putting the calico on. So the drawers and the doors are on the top, all ready to go. I was thinking of putting um, burlap in the doors, but it's too hot and, I, and it, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I don't know about drawer pulls yet. I could sand the drawers back, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Here we go. She don't know what she's doing. Right, I'll be back. Right, that's one coat of the blocker. Like I say, that's all I'm gonna put on. It's It's got much better coverage than I expected it to. I, I don't know how long ago it was that I used this. Long time ago, I guess, because I didn't realize how good the coverage was. So, I'm going to leave that to dry for a little bit, then I'll come in with the calico. But look how much of this I've used or haven't used. It looks full. That's really, really good. I'm really impressed with that. So that's the Purico base blocker in the white. One coat. Love it. Let's get some paint on these babies. These babies? There's only one. Calico. You're not supposed to shake it. If you've watched my video where I was telling you that before and I still kept shaking it, I, I still have that in shoe clearly. Oh, that's a nice colour. It is, it looks like a beige in here, in the tub. Sometimes these will dry then with a bit of a grey in them, so hence the name greige. But I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's nice. What do you think, guys? Oh, that's lovely. That's not too light. The coverage is really good. So two coats of this, that'll be right. So it'll be one coat of primer and two coats of paint. To be fair, I could probably have just done the two coats of paint because this coverage is really good. I, I know that the Purica coverage is really good. It always is. Oh, this is lovely. That's almost got full coverage already, you know. Yeah, I'm really surprised how far that um, the blocker went. Literally, I've, it looks like I've only used about five mil. That can't be right, surely. Because what size are these? These pots are 600 mil. And it doesn't even look like I've taken the top of it off. Oh, this is lovely. What do you think? Can you see it very well? Bailey. We've got Bailey and Bowie now, longer haired dogs. For those who don't know, Bowie is my daughter's dog. She's living back at home now. And um, so is a good, gorgeous dog. And he is work. Oh my word. He's a border collie. He is absolutely beautiful. But he is he's more active than Bailey. And he's spoiled. Not by me. I don't spoil dogs. I, I spoil him a little bit. This is really nice. I think I'm going to go with a whitewash. It was pretty, pretty, 
Eureka have got a stain that's called Whisper. It's basically a whitewash. Um, so I think I'm probably going to go with this. This is really nice. I'm shocked how much I like this. I'd actually say more of a cream than a beige. Is cream and beige the same? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I think it is, is it? Am I going soft on light colours? I'm a bit worried about myself. Am I? Do I need to check myself? Right, I'll do a little bit. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show me doing a little bit more. And then um, I'll have to turn the camera off because now this falls into why I don't spoil my dog. My aircon unit, the outside of the aircon unit is by here, so it blows heat on me, right? Whereas I'm out here and the aircon's on inside. So I've had to go and turn the aircon off so that I can film and so it's not got warm heat blowing on me. But the dogs are inside, so they're probably get, be getting a bit warm. So I have to stop so I can go and put the air on for them. I have got a problem, and I, I know. Oh, can everyone tell me what the market's like where you, where you are, please? Because here, it's just been, it's been really bad. I honestly don't even know if I'm, if it's in a position now where I can flip to sell, or if I'm just going to be doing stuff just going to be doing commissions or just for myself. God, I love this colour. Bloody hell. So I don't know. I'm, this one, like I said, I'm keeping. I'll do another piece after this and I'll advertise that and see how it goes. I know that this is, I've spoken to lots across the globe and they're seeing similar issues, but I've also noticed that things seem to be picking up here. I'm seeing more flipped furniture on the marketplace and I'm seeing more people sharing their their projects and them being sold. So I'm hopeful that that means the market's picking back up, hopefully. Okay, that's two coats all over, drawers and doors. Next, I'm gonna do the top. Like I said, I'm gonna use the Whisper, the whitewash on the top. This is how much I've got left. I've probably used at a push, 100 mil, I'd say. So it's silk, Purico silk in the color Calico. The stain I'm using is Purico Whisper. And the top coat is Purico Semi Gloss. And I'll be applying with Purico Sponge. she is all done in my new staging area. I'm stoked. Let's get some photos. <laughs> 